What is going on, YouTube? Find this your boy Tony two times, and we back with another episode of Hood Tales, man. Before I start, be sure to like, comment, share. Definitely watch the video to the end. Let's get right into it. Being a teenager in the trenches can go a few different ways, depending on the individual. Some people choose to rep their hood or area while still trying to do the right things, like go to school and trying to find a way in life, despite their environment. But others might get caught up in the street life or gang life too deep, leading to an early grave or decades in prison. And on this episode of Hood Tales, we will be discussing two Savannah, Georgia gangs and how some teens throw it all away in one night. Only the mob and 1100 block gang are neighborhood gangs in the city of Savannah. And in 2017, when the Only the Mob member allegedly tried to get away from police, it would lead to innocent people being gone. On July 5th, a 16-year-old would be driving with friends in the car by City Market, according to sources. While driving, a general manager of a restaurant on Martin Luther King Boulevard was struck by the car the teen was driving, killing the 30-year-old man. In the same event, allegedly with other teens in the car, the 16-year-old driver and his friends went to slide on the ops, opening fire, striking two teens. As police got on the trail of the SUV drove by the teenager, the only the mob member, the teens crashed and he caused the death of his two passengers. After he was arrested, he was charged with aggravated assault, vehicle homicide, and using a handgun during the crime spree. The teens that were shot was members of the 1100 block gang and shootings had been going back and forth in Savannah. Allegedly, when another Only the Mob member shot at three people, a 18-year-old shot back, but during the battle, was shot and killed, leaving the Only Mob member gang being charged with the hit and three attempts on the other victims. The shooting took place on East 31st Street and B Road, but the back and forth wouldn't stop there. When members from 1100 slid on Only the Mob, the two crews would spot each other and exchange shots with a 16-year-old in the back seat of the only the mob member's car, but he was unfortunately shot and killed in the shootout, leaving four teens charged in the hit. Savannah Chatham police would start putting the pieces together as the victims from the first shooting at the city market were members of the 1100 block gang. The shooting was allegedly retaliation from the death of an only the mob member. At first, prosecutors only charged the 16-year-old driver of the SUV with regular charges, but as the investigation continued, they came to a conclusion it was all gang related. Six members from both gangs were indicted on 64 counts, including retaliation hits. The 16-year-old only the mob member would eventually be convicted of the crime spree in which three people lost their life and was sentenced to life in prison. But this would not be the end of the gang beef. About a year later, shooters would continue back and forth in the Savannah streets, hitting members from both gangs and homes being shot up as well. Fortunately, no one lost their life, just a few victims with gunshot wounds in the second war. But this would lead to more members from both sides being charged and indicted on another 78 counts. Savannah police and prosecutors painted a picture that members terrorized the community and each other during the beef. Other members from both sides received different times for their roles in the organization. More of this story, at 16, you don't know much. You might think you love the game and they love you back, but before you can realize it's too late and it's really phony, you already got life in prison. Really, it's just kids hitting kids, never ending cycle. So remember, we gotta succeed, not to fail. So we won't be just another hood to Man, crazy story, you feel me? Shout out Savannah, you know what I mean? It's like down bottom Georgia, you feel me? Like they talk completely different, you know what I mean, than people in Atlanta. You know, Georgia pretty big, 
It ain't like Baltimore, it ain't like a lot of other places. So they got their own different swag, their own different style. But this young man right here, allegedly was responsible for the first thing that happened at City Market. You know what I mean? He was driving the car, shots was fired, they fired in the crowd when they sent their ops. Somehow, I don't know if he lost control of the car, but a man got hit, you know, that worked in the area, he got killed. And then his passengers that the dude had with him, you feel me, the young dude had with him, they lost their life as well. So really it was just a mess, you know what I mean? It was really just senseless, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, one thing, man, y'all gotta realize, y'all young dudes, when you see your ops, right? And it's broad daylight, or even if it ain't broad daylight, if it's nighttime and it's in a busy place with people that ain't got nothing to do with nothing, you gotta know how to just sit it out, you feel me? Wait it out. I know people be feeling like it's on site, but you gotta think about the innocent people out there that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Kids, old people, you feel me? Some of these young dudes feel like it's whatever. It's casualties and war. But at the end of the day, it ain't gotta be like that. If y'all into it and y'all really beefing, and if it's that deep, you know what I mean? When y'all run into each other, you feel me? Be man enough to be like, all right, you feel me? I'ma catch you on the next go round. But in the streets, sometimes it don't go that way. But Shorty got life in prison. You know what I mean? And unfortunately, some teenagers that was with him lost their life in the car crash as well. So really, it's senseless, you feel me? And it was even a brother and sister, I think, that was in the 1100 gang that got charged together in a hit. So you know what I mean? You got young ladies in this situation. You got everybody just out here warring and beefing. And I don't know if it was over territory, over blocks, because I don't know how Savannah set up. I never really been down there, plan on going down there. You know, I heard it's real nice, but you know, it'd be a lot going on in all these little small cities. So people be sleeping on these little small towns and these places and stuff be happening. So if you out here traveling, just watch where you going. You know what I mean? Watch what you wearing, cause people be banging and they be banging on each other and you might not got nothing to do with nothing and you get caught up in the midst of it, man. But a lot of these young men got life in prison. Shorty was 16 at the time of the crime. I think when he got convicted, he was 17 or 18, but that's your whole life gone. Life in prison, you feel me? He out of there. So yeah, man, y'all just think about what y'all out here doing, man. It ain't really worth it, you feel me? At the end of the day, you can be from the hood and take a whole nother approach to being from the hood. You can rep your hood and rep your city stay out the way you know what i mean and you can still be cool with people in your community without doing what they doing be a leader not a follower but y'all already know man this is another episode of hood tales it's your boy tony two times be sure to like comment share i appreciate it if you made it to the end of the video i love y'all fine i'm out mm -hmm.